This video is brought to you by Squarespace. Don't know how to make a website? Well, now you can with Squarespace. So in today's video, I'm gonna be taking these wooden cubes I got at the craft store and we're just gonna be painting them and getting creative. I plan on doing a few creations using all 12 of these blocks. Wow, I had to do some quick math in my head for that one. But I thought I would start off a little bit easy and classic with these three medium blocks. I wanna do something similar to my enamel pens in my shop. We have a combination of six different eyeball sets and six different mouths we can put on these blocks. You know, I was ready to just jump into drawing on the cubes, but I think it would be smart to at least sketch some eyeball ideas. We gotta have eyelashes, way too detailed one, three eyes onto one eyelid, a half moon eye, super simple angry one, <laughs> literally just a line, the emoji meme, an eyeball where someone has lost their mind with crying tears, you know, as opposed to the other kind of tears. Remember when lids were super weirdly thick? Oh, this is a horrifying curved half open lid eyeball. Kitty cat eye looking in a direction. Okay, that's quite a few options. What about, what about some mouths? Toothy cartoony grin, tongue out being silly, basic lips, mouth open, teeth showing, tongue flapping, lip closed, jaw clenched, cat mouth, vampire teeth, a cute little monster mouth, one, two, three lines, tongue twister tied, little mouth with a tongue that's just, you know, I've got some decision making to do, which is always a hard part. But we've got a lot of options. And despite having twice as many options that I even could use, I had a really hard time choosing which ones to go with because I just wanted to use them all. Just imagine the possibilities. But in the end, I did narrow them down. So I started off with my circle eyeballs, which as you could see, I just traced a googly eye. It was the exact size I wanted. Kind of funny enough, it's sort of the same concept. So this was the easy part, sketching out simple, cute features and faces and eyeballs and mouths. That's simple. The hard part was having to draw it twice and also symmetrical. The easiest eyeball was the teary eye crying eyeball. That eyeball, I always draw them differently and so I can just draw them and not have to worry about them being exactly the same. The circles, obviously those were very easy. It was the ones like the angry eyeball, wait, I'm just realizing the angry eyeball was the only challenge. They were literally all circles. So for this one single challenging eyeball, I knew it would be really important to make sure that it was pretty symmetrical. I think I did a pretty good job. I lined them up next to each other and just sort of used the original drawing as a ruler. So as I mentioned before, this idea sort of maybe was just a rip off of my enamel pin sets of the mix and match faces. Some of these are exactly pins that I have available. They're just my go-to faces that I think are funny and silly. The looking eyeballs, I really like those. You gotta have an angry eye. I love the shiny sparkly eye, just looking off into the distance. And then I really wanted one weird eyeball and that super sparkly Sparkly, but also super eyelashy eyeball is just so creepy and disgusting to me. I don't know what it is. It's just too hairy. It's, it's, it's a too hairy of an eyeball, but it does look like the galaxy. I put some stars and a lot of little sparkles in it and it was very space inspired. So it is cute. It's just, it's got this weird creepiness to it. Moving on to the mouths, I felt like they were a lot more simple. They are sort of in design because I don't add a lot of sparkles and shines and light to them. So it felt like I really flew through the mouths. Also probably helps that I only had to draw them one time. Loved that about the mouths. I will say, I don't think I have as much variety in the mouths. <laughs> Why does the word mouth sound weird now? I feel like eyeballs are just a lot more fun and expressive. Obviously mouths do have expression, but maybe I just wasn't very inspired by the mouth today. 
One last minute change I did make was throwing in a semi more realistic looking lip mouth situation. Not only is this project inspired by my customizable enamel pins, but I'm also obviously inspired by that stupid emoji meme where it's the two giant eyeballs and the lippy mouth in between. It just looks so goofy. I think in the end you will see the lippy mouth is the best one because it's just, it's in a sort of different style with these goofy simple eyeballs and it just, it works with all of them. Even the creepy, hairy eyeballs. Those actually might be the best of the lips. Either way, I am excited to put this on my shelf. It's super cute. It was super fun to make. I can keep making more. Honestly, I kind of want to make big ones. I might have to make big ones one day. So these turned out Oh my god, so cute. Let's just take a second to flip through some. We can make an angry yelling guy. Angry, but slain. Oh my god, horror! oh my god. Oh no, it's worse. When you're sexy, but you're sad. Look at this cheeky guy. Enough of these, it is time to thank the sponsor of the video. That's right, Squarespace. Where would I be without Squarespace? Well, I would be a loser without my own website, without my own gallery, without my own shop. But don't worry, you too can also be a not loser. I'm just joking. But you could have a website. Squarespace does all of the work with the flexible website templates. Super easy to use, super easy to edit. Customize them, add features, you name it. Create exclusive sections of your website that only the members can get into ooh la la and of course an online store who doesn't want their own online store to sell their own adorable and silly merch i do so i have a shop and you can too with squarespace head to squarespace.com for a free trial and when you're ready to launch go to squarespace.com slash casey golden to save 10 percent off your first purchase of a website or domain hey look it's my face when i use squares okay that was let's move on to the next one for our next piece, I'm gonna use two big blocks and a medium block. This is already what I was sort of thinking. I kind of want to embrace the wood texture a little bit more in this piece. So which one has the best wooden texture? Uh, they're literally the same. I want to do a drippy, gooey, slimy paint on this block, but two of the sides, I wanna put faces on them. And I want this character to be hiding under the gooey drippiness just a little bit. He's happy on this side and he's horrified on this side. Top, um, I don't know if I'll put any, like this might look weird. So I might just keep it plain color. We'll start painting our little stacked slimy melty block guys. I was actually really excited for this one because I love drawing goopy, slimy, slippery, drippy, painty, jello-y things. It's just fun to draw, they're fun to look at, and they're usually colorful, so they're, they're just fun. So I wasn't sure if I wanted to try to create a sort of gradient between all three characters. I was also thinking about doing the primary colors red, yellow, and blue. It would be nice and colorful, representing paint and just be fun. But in the end, I was just thinking a classic slime color for whatever reason in pop culture. Is it Nickelodeon? Is it video games? I don't know. Slime's always green. It just is. That's just how the world works. Anyways, you guys know how much I love the color green, so I definitely wasn't going to pass up the opportunity to use three amazing green colors that I had because I, I like green. So I started off with our small blob being the lime green. This little guy is so freaking cute. I gave him like a little swirly cute drip for like hair or a unibrow or something. It's just cute. He's tiny, he's on top. Then I moved on to our medium green and I was so torn on both of these faces. I don't know why I couldn't get a face I liked for this guy. I really wanted to use a goopy face for at least one of them. And I love the face. I think the goopy face is really cute 
cute, but I just find that it's it's just so different from the other ones that is just, it's just a smiley face stuck on these. The goopy, gooey mouth guy, he's just so much more. He's really just channeling his most slime that he can. He's just so gooey. But he just looks different from the others, so I love him to death. He just looks out of place for some reason. And then moving on to our dark green half wood block. This one got a little bit messy. By the end, my fingers were just so dirty with paint that wasn't quite dry and it was sort of rubbing off on everything. So unfortunately, some of the exposed wood bits on our bottom character is stained from my fingers. I should have washed my hands. All of that being said, I think the bottom face is my favorite. It's just so cute peeking out from behind the slime. Its faces are cute. I love him. And even though this whole piece is just a nonsensical, silly excuse to draw something slimy and colorful, I think it's gonna be really cute on a Shelf, so I'm excited to display this one. I've got two large blocks and all four of our tiny blocks. I want to create a disassembled sort of like blocky Minecraft cat. We have a body, it'll have a head, very oversized, and these will be its feet and paws. So you could just easily put your cat on top, give our cat the face, and I'm just gonna have it have a very, oh my god, it's so cute, standard face. I don't know, I don't even think I'm gonna paint it ears, I'll be honest. I think it'd be funny just to have it, wait, should the whiskers be on this side or the front? <gasps> the body, which I don't really need to sketch anything. I just have to decide on a pattern so that maybe it's easier to tell where the cat, we'll give it a butt. So then the paws, the paws on the bottom, we will just paint as cat paws in the front, We'll draw little lines for the toes so you can tell it's a paw when it's down. <laughs> and I just like the idea of I can just have his paws and have him sit different silly ways. It's sort of like an abstract statue of a cat that you can change and do different things with if you just feel like mixing it up. And you know what? Come Halloween, I can paint some jack-o'-lanterns and now he's got jack-o'-lantern friends. You get the idea. Let's paint this kitty. This kitty was by far the piece I was the most excited to see the result of and also the most nervous to see the result of because let's be honest, I'm creating a cat out of cubes. Like what? it has no ears, it has no tail. Usually when I work with wooden objects or shapes or something, I like to add a little bit of felt. You can just add ears, for example, a tail, little things here and there that would probably make a huge difference in a design. But I really wanted the focus of these projects to be the wooden cubes and I wanted them to be only the wooden cubes. It was also sort of like a challenge. I wanted to see what I could create with just wooden cubes. Also, I'm just now realizing that they're blocks and this is sort of like art block. I'm creating art blocks. Art blocks can't control me. I control the art blocks. Y'all, I've cracked the code. Anyway, what was I talking about? Yes, our, our Minecraft inspired cat. This cat basically looks like a creeper from Minecraft if it was skinned with a cat, I'm realizing. But that's okay, it is very goofy and I was still excited to see what it was gonna look like. So, I painted my paws, those were the easiest to paint. The body was pretty easy too, I was just a little bit worried about the shape of the white going up its chest. When you try to start turning a 3D object that isn't a cube into a cube, I feel like the way you color it gets kind of wonky. So I stuck with a simple tabby cat. I think it turned out really cute and embraced the simplicity of our cube designs. Also, it kind of looks like my kitty ham. Am I going to paint over that butthole? Yes, it has got to go. It is disturbing. I usually just put a little black X. The pink was a regretful decision. As far as our cat goes, you know what? It's, it's silly, but I think it's cute. Once 
again, a huge thank you to the sponsor of this video, Squarespace. Make yourself a website and thank you guys so much for watching this video. I'll see you in the next one. Bye. Thank you.